Cancer, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your August reading. All right, what's going on with you in this month of August? It's going to be a love reading, ladies and gents. What's going on with the collective of Cancer? It might just going to be a general reading. It could be a quite a specific. However, just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't, ladies and gents. What's going on with those Cancerians tuning in for the month of August? What's going on in your love life? Three of coins, awesome, wonderful. So you're definitely dealing with someone that you got a lot of feelings towards and there's a notable sense of working together. Okay, there's a lot of enthusiasm surrounding this relationship and building something is really what I'm getting the indication of the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a connection in which there's a, a notable amount of mutual interest and the level of interest here is something, something significant. It's something, hmm, 10 of coins here. Ten of coins, I'm or ten of cups, rather. It's something significant, all right? So let's keep going. Let's see what, tell me more about this month for them. Queen of cups, I'm telling you, there's just a lot of love here. You've definitely got your eye on somebody here that you are wanting to experience a connection with, to say the least, Cancer. <clears throat> However, there is an element of disappointment here. So you guys could be working on, you know, establishing balance or just bettering the relationship from a from a place that needed harmony, okay? It's like you guys needed to move towards some sort of progression. And that's what seems to be addressed, or that's what's being addressed, rather. All right? <clears throat> We're gonna get your energy and the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with in just a moment. Ooh, tell me more about Cancer's situation here, the overall energy that they're gonna be dealing with in their love life. The judgment. All right, I'm telling you, I'm getting a sense of this phoenix energy, which is rising from its ashes, right? So something happened here that dims the light of the relationship, but it's moving towards absolute reinvigoration, okay? It's taking a serious turn, ladies and gents. It's taking a real serious turn. Whomever it is that you're dealing with is definitely, look, we got uh, a power couple dynamic. Whomever it is that you're interested in, this individual sees you as a promising future, okay? And they're definitely investing themselves. They're investing their energy, they're investing their, their time, and their future, essentially. Although it doesn't look clear right now for this individual, they are the direction that they're moving towards with you is one of absolute unity and completion. There's an element of determination here from this individual in order to surmount, a determination to surmount some sort of emotional wounds that, that they're harboring, okay, could be tied to this relationship. Um, <clears throat> I want to look into this Four of Cups. What's going on with this Four of Cups? Hmm. Pastor, I get the sense that you know something could be bothering the individual. You will be knowing that something's bothering the individual. But this individual seems to be leaving it out in the cold and not addressing it. When they actually should be. Okay, there's just this, this sense of uh, disappointment. I'm getting a really pessimistic attitude here. Alright, and it's like something disappointing has happened. Somebody's attached to it. The devil energy. And they're having difficult... They're having difficulty expressing themselves or expressing what is bothering them and what is getting to them. This is something that you're going to be able to notice intuitively or even just by scrutinizing this individual's subtle physical cues. All right. But you will notice, you will notice this individual is going to be investing into the relationship with you, but there will be an element of emotional detachment from this person. And the reason being is because they're attached to something negative here that they have not relinquished. All right, what is this devil energy? What is this devil energy? Whatever it is that broke you guys apart to begin with, whatever it is that compelled you guys to take a break from one another or brought upon some sort of element of separation, it's exactly that which they are still holding on to. All right, this individual could be battling, um, could be battling insecurities here. <clears throat> insecurities that you know, they may end up broken hearted or that you may leave them or that you, or they got abandonment issues, something along those lines. All right, let's look into this three of coins. What's going on with this three of coins? Hmm. 
Yeah, so most certainly there's this energy that shrouded the relationship which encompasses the concept of loss. All right, and from this loss, it didn't turn out to be a loss, right? It didn't turn out to be a loss because there's unity coming about. But just because there's unity doesn't mean that things are stable, doesn't mean that things are harmonic. There's just an intention to work through some sort of challenge. All right, and that's where I currently see the situation. That's a very notable or you know, prominent energy here in regards to what you're going to be experiencing in the month of August is actually working through that cloudedness, working through the, the darkness, if you will, that has shrouded the relationship. <clears throat> What is Cancer's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Cancer's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? The full energy. You're absolutely inclined to just take a leap of faith and move on to new beginnings with this individual. Flat out. You're absolutely keen to doing away with the old and having a brand new beginning, having success with this individual. All right, is what I'm seeing here. You, you, you see a future with this individual just as well, just as much as this individual sees a future with you, despite the defeat that has ensued between you two. All right. Yeah, the strength card. So this is a, this is a testing situation for you, okay? And despite the challenges that that uh, obstruct this relationship, you are keen to just surmounting them and doing the necessary in order to grow, in order to nurture, in order to expand this relationship. I feel that this, this current phase of, of in the relationship is definitely putting you in your feminine and emotional element, Cancer. And I feel that you're stepping up to the plate to do your part in turning around this situation for the better. All right. <clears throat> Tell me more about Cancer's energy. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, there's just a lot of new energy here. There's a lot of energy of just bringing about newness here with the uh, full card. You know, you know that what lies ahead is, is going to be a challenge. It's going to have to be worked on. There's going to be effort required in order to really establish this new beginning and take it off towards wherever it is that you want to take it off. I don't know how far you envision this future. Maybe the heartbreak is what's most prominent in regards to the attention of the relationship. However, there's just this, this huge sense of, of a phoenix energy which is rising from its ashes. Yes, shit might have hit the fan, but you guys seem to be doing the necessary to turn this around. All right, to resurrect it. Let's see, what, what's going on with the person that you're dealing with? What is their energy towards cancer? Whomever it is that cancer is dealing with, what's going on? with this individual's energy towards cancer. The devil energy, I'm telling you. <clears throat> so they're still in a very toxic energy is what I'm seeing here through the month of August. And despite that, they're quite adamant about giving this another chance, okay? Nevertheless, this individual I feel is gonna be imposing obstacles in the relationship due to this devil energy. They're still in a very toxic, uh, still dealing with a very toxic attachment, which dims their own light, which makes them really unauthentic, if you will, unauthentic to what it is that they truly, truly want with you. That's what I'm getting the indication of. This individual's got a lot of passion for you, to a cup. So they got a lot of passion for you, ladies and gents, but I feel that they are kind of detached from that passion, all right, due to this difficulty that they're dealing with, due to whatever it is that has a bound on them. <clears throat> Tell me more about this individual's energy towards cancer. The temperance card of Sagittarius could be a Capricorn, could be a Sagittarius. I got Leo, I got Aries here. Nevertheless, what I'm seeing, Cancer, is that this individual is trying to figure it out, flat out. This individual is trying to figure it out. Okay, so yeah, they may be going through some difficult, they may be going through some challenging, having difficulty being vulnerable. All right, being insecure in regards to the future of this relationship, but this individual does has a, have an element of determination, wanting to take control of the situation, wanting to be strategic and do make the right and sound choices in order to bring about balance and healing within the situation. So Cancer, in summary, you guys are reconciling a relationship and obviously reconciliation is a, an amazing word, right? But we got to consider that this is going to take time. It's going to take effort. And, and that's about it. Really, based on the energy that I saw from you, it seems that you're on point. It seems that you 
are going to be, how do I say, you're going to be projecting a great side of you. Even though this situation is not what you would like it to be, it's bringing, it's made, giving you an opportunity to bring your healing side to it, your, your influence, the power of your influence, okay? And I don't mean power as in controlling and more so this very feminine and nurturing energy that I see you pouring into it, which is going to have a tremendous effect, a tremendous influence on this relationship throughout the month of August. Now, ladies and gents, I'm going to be taking this to the extended and I'm going to continue to dive deeper into whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to look into their feelings for you, their intentions, their actions towards you, as well as the near future beyond the month of August. All right. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the extended. Otherwise, Cancer, it seems that you're right on track with where you should be, guys. Okay. It's a pleasure connecting with you and I'll see you guys in another video.